Several people messaged me asking for the chocolate donut recipe and I am so happy to share this recipe because it's one of my all time favorites. You start out by mashing a banana in a large bowl and then mix together all the remaining wet ingredients. Into that very same bowl, you're gonna sift in all of the dry ingredients and then pour it into a donut mold. I'll leave the temperature and bake time down in the comments. I made a simple frosting with some dark chocolate, milk, and powdered sugar, and then sprinkles, of course. Stop scrolling because this is seriously the best healthy dessert I have ever made. It's got a ton of protein, it's grain free, it's refined sugar free, it's great for balancing your blood sugar so you don't have those crazy spikes and crashes and feel really hangry. You essentially make batter and divide it into two bowls. And then to one of those bowls you add some cacao powder, that's going to be your brownie batter. And then the other one gets a little more almond flour and some chocolate chips, this is going to be your cookie dough. And then you basically just scoop them or roll them into balls. And voila, healthy brookie batter bites. Snag the full recipe on my Insta, you don't want to miss this one. Hi guys, if you're looking for a new breakfast, you have to try my brownie oatmeal. It tastes so good you won't believe it's healthy. Mix rolled oats, almond milk, a mashed banana, cacao, maple syrup, and vanilla, and cook on low heat for 10 minutes until it's super gooey and just like brownie batter. Then add peanut butter and any other topping you want. Please tag a friend who would love this. What's up guys? Samoas are my favorite Girl Scout cookie, so we're gonna make them vegan using coconut flakes, dates, blend it into a soft texture. We're gonna roll and shape them into cookie shape, poke a hole in the center, freeze those for a bit while we melt down some vegan chocolate using coconut oil. We're gonna dip the bottom of the cookie in chocolate, drizzle the top, freeze those for a bit, and voila. Today, we are making banana bread. Start with almost rotten bananas. For the wet ingredients, add maple syrup, plant milk, oil, for the dry ingredients, add oat flour, baking powder, cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. Stir it up, grease a loaf dish, and pour in the batter. Finally, I love to cut a banana in half to decorate the top. I find this step just makes the bread so Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. This bread is totally delicious, nutritious, and my home now smells like heaven because... I'm going to show you how to turn your brinjal into chocolate muffins. Do you call this brinjal, eggplant, or aubergine? Let me know. This little bunny got a new blender. Brinjal, chocolate, flax, egg, coconut oil. Blend time. Sugar. I forgot to press record. Flour, raw cacao powder, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. you guys some protein brownie batter it's unreal 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 so first thing you need to do is add all your dry ingredients into your bowl and mix to avoid clumping then add your wet ingredients in there mix then you're going to take your mini chocolate chips melt them i did this in the microwave for about a minute mixing every 30 seconds bada bing bada boom mix it all together add your brownie batter to the fridge for a few hours to cool and thicken up and then it's time to enjoy my friends like this is decadent as a kid i really really love candy corn but as a vegan, it's kind of difficult to find. I've been searching for about two years, found a version last year. I got home, come to find out I had eggs. So I decided this year to try to make my own and share with you guys. Pretty simple. 
reduced your radiance hoping that it would make someone see you more clearly. It's funny, we think that if we dim down the most vivid parts of ourselves, that somehow it'll make people understand and love us. I'm a self-described rebel that really could care less about being easy to digest, but the truth is, we all want love. So this fact keeps me in check. There is no amount of me that I can make good enough for someone that doesn't have a taste for what I'm bringing to the table. Because this thing is vibrant, bold, sweet where it counts, and deserves guests that wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I know who those people are now, like my equally vibrant friend Nassim. Now seats and forks at this table are reserved for them. You want to eat something sweet without it making you feel terrible? This one's for you. This is by far my simplest recipe. It's only three ingredients. You're going to mash two bananas and then add about a cup and a half to two cups of oats, depending on how the texture is, and about half a cup of dark chocolate chips. Mix it up until you get this consistency. Put little cookie shapes onto a greased baking tray and throw them in the oven for about 15 minutes. What you're left with is these little banana chocolate chip oat cookie things. Not quite a cookie, not quite a granola bar, but really delicious and easy. This is butter made from corn. Start with shucking sweet corn and removing the kernels. Then grate the cobs to get all the extra liquid out. Throw everything into a blender and blend until you have something like a corn milk. It should be super smooth. Strain everything into your saucepan and begin cooking over medium-low heat. As this cooks, the natural starches in the corn are going to thicken. This will take about five to seven minutes. Then season it with salt. It should have the texture of softened butter and it's going to thicken as it cools down. I use this corn butter in a lot of my plant-based dishes and you can spread it on different things. It's a really smooth, creamy, and sweet dairy-free alternative. These fudgy creamsicle brownies are to die for y'all. Let me show you how to make them. To start out, grab a package of Keto Candy Girls brownie mix and you're just gonna follow the package directions to mix that up. Reserve one fourth of the brownie mixture, but add the rest of it to the pan. Then you're gonna prepare your cheesecake mixture and add that on top of your brownie mixture. Add the rest of the brownie mixture on top, swirl it through, bake it 350 for 30 minutes, slice and enjoy. Don't be suspicious, 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 don't be suspicious. Can your lifestyle make you happier? I definitely think it can. When I got sucked into the world of crash dieting, one thing I learned during that time was that lots of foods are labeled bad for you because the main focus is always weight loss. However, some of the foods that get cut out are actually foods that are packed with things. Help your body to feel great. People end up missing out on key nutrients, ones that have been proven to support mental health, the immune system, and helping you feel satisfied and fill up. Follow us for a better way using the liquid from this garbanzo bean can to make a dessert. This liquid is called aquafaba and it mimics the properties of egg whites. Melt a bar of dark chocolate, you can even do that in the microwave. Using an electric mixer, whip up your aquafaba. Add two tablespoons of sweetener of your choice, stevia and sugar work great. Keep whipping this up until you get stiff peaks like this. Then slowly add in your dark chocolate, try to be as gentle as possible. And this is the final product, it's so fluffy. As a vegan, I don't miss the taste of anything at all. We still get amazing foods like French toast, but in a healthier and vegan version. All it takes is a little bit of planning and learning recipes, but I'm here to help. To start, it doesn't have to be an all or nothing approach. Every little bit adds up and contributes to a healthier planet, a healthier you, and less animal suffering. It's a win, win, win. If you want to include more plant-based recipes into your lifestyle, head to my Instagram where I share delicious recipes.